New numbers have arrived from across the state, so here are the latest results from the governor's race. And as you can see, voters have selected Democrat Jay Inslee and Republican Lauren Culp as the top two to advance to the general election. This is from a field of 36 candidates during the primary election. King 5 political reporter Chris Daniels joining us live in Seattle. So Chris, what else are the numbers telling us tonight? Joyce, with these late returns today, we're seeing some minor shifts in some of those congressional races, in particular with gaps either widening or closing. Let's start with the second congressional district. That is in the north part of the Puget Sound. Incumbent Rick Larson is advancing, but it remains too close to call for that coveted second spot in advancing to November. Republican Timothy Haslow and Democrat Jason Call both vying for the general election now separated by about 2,000 votes. Moving along to the 8th district that is stretching from Issaquah to East Pierce, King County to Ellensburg and Central Washington. Democrat Kim Schreier is advancing to the fall for a possible second term, but as an incumbent, she is below 50%. There are multiple Republicans that are vying to advance to the general election. Jesse Jensen, Keith Swank, neck and neck to advance that margin now about 1,000 votes. In the 10th district in the South Sound, Denny Heck is stepping down, which led to 19 candidates filing for the seat. Former Tacoma Mayor Marilyn Strickland is in that top spot. It does appear she will face another Democrat, either Beth Dolio or Christine Reeves. It could be days before it's all sorted out. We're still waiting on Thurston County numbers tonight, which could alter that race for second place. And we'll know more here in the days ahead about who will land on the November ballot. And then back to the governor's race. Out of five leading Republicans, Lauren Culp, it appears has managed to gain the most support to take on Governor Inslee in November. Culp is the police chief of tiny Republic, Washington, 1,100 people, a small town in Ferry County. And already this evening, the issue of whether or not to wear a mask is becoming one that will be discussed in the general election. Here's what Culp has to say about that. My response is that we are free Americans. Um, and it's a personal choice. If people want to wear a mask, they can wear a mask. Culp told us he is celebrating a wedding anniversary today and then it'll be back onto the campaign trail. It is interesting looking at the numbers from the Secretary of State's office. There is definitely a rural urban divide that has developed in this primary with Inslee running up the score to use a sports analogy, especially in King County where he has managed to gather about 70 percent of the tally in this primary election. That'll be a story to watch going forward. For now, live in Seattle, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News. All right, Chris, thank you. We're also keeping an eye on two important state races, including Lieutenant Governor's race. That contest where Denny Heck, as you know, is in the top spot, expected to advance. State Senator Marco Leas and Ann Davison Sattler are in second and third right now. If Leas claims the second spot, we will see two Democrats on the ballot here. Republican Kim Wyman will advance as she seeks to remain Secretary of State. She's five points ahead of Democrat Gail Tarleton, uh, who will also advance the rest of the field in single digits.